In this tutorial, we are going to see binary search tree insertion. So here, already we have learned how to construct this binary search tree. So here, now we are going to see the insertion procedure in this binary search tree. So here, for inserting an element into the binary search tree, first what we have to do is, we have to check the element in the root. We have to check the element. For example, if you are going to insert X element in this binary search tree. So this X is compared with this root. So if this X is lesser than this root, then we have to traverse in the left side. If this X is greater than this H, then we have to traverse in the right side. So the thing is, if X is less than the root traverse the left side tree until it reaches t of left equals to null. So here, so for example, if I want to insert 2, 2 in this by research tree. <coughs> First this 2 is compared with this root. 2 is lesser than this root, so we have to come to left side. So again this 2 is compared with this 5, 2 is again less, then we have to come here. Now here t of left is e left equal to null because so in this tree can be represented by using linked list. So for every node we are going to, for every node we are going to store 3 information. So that is one is one is the element, the other is the left child, the other is the right child. So convert this tree as the linked list so the tree can be drawn like this. Each node in linked list, each node will have three parts. One is the element part, second one is so three parts, this part will have the address of the left child. So this part will have the address of right child. Address of right child. So now, so this eight, so eight nodes, left, left part will have the address of this, of this node. This right child will have the address of this ten. So now in this case, so this five, this node will have the left child. It is not having the right child. So that, so that right there, if there is no right child, then that will be represented by using null value. So here left child is not there. So we have to represent that one by using null. So right is there. So here also no left child, null. So here left is there, right is not there. So we have to keep that one as null. So now, so we are going to insert this 2 in this tree. So first what we have to do is, we have to check this 2 with this root node. So this 2 is lesser than this 8. So we, so what we have to do is, we have, we have to traverse only in the left side. Now, so this is T of left, this is T of right. Now, so again this 2 is combined with this 5, 2 is lesser than this 5, so we have to come here. Now, so here also there is no left child and right child. So now, so now t becomes the 3, so now we have to check t of left, because check this 2 with this 3, 2 is lesser than this 3. So now we have to traverse in the left side. So what we have to now, if t is, t of left is null means, then what we have to do? We have to create a node for this 2, then that node will be inserted in this place. Then we have to make left child, left t of left and t of right is null. So like that the insertion will be done. Then if you, if you want to insert an element that is greater than this root, then what we have to do is, if x is greater than the root, then traverse the right subtree recursively, traverse the right subtree recursively until it reaches the t 
D of right angle it reaches the T of right equals to 9. So here we have to traverse until T of left T equals to 0. So here we have to traverse right subtree until T of right equals to 0. So the cases, three cases will be followed for inserting an element. So if there is no element in the binary search tree, then we have to create a new node and make that node as the root node. So the second case is if the element we have to compare the element with the root node. If the element is lesser than the root node, we have to traverse the left subtree until it reaches T of left equals to null. So this third case is we have to check the element with the root. If the element is greater than the root, we have to traverse the right subtree until T of right equals to null. So these three cases we have to know while inserting an element into the binary search tree. So this is the node declaration of binary search tree. So struct tree node. So he, every node will have three parts. One is element part. So one is left child. So one part will have the address of left child. The other part will have the address of the right child. Now we are going to see the routine. So now we are going to see the insertion routine of this binary search tree. So here, so this is the element we are going to insert this x element in this search tree tree. So first what we have to do is t is equal to null. So, so this t pointer will always point to the root node. This in, consider there is no element in the binary search tree. So first we have to check t is equal to null. So yes, the condition is true. So if t is equal to null, suppose I want to create x as x is equal to 15. So I want to insert this 15 element in the binary search tree. <coughs> First, I am checking this condition t is equal to null. Yes, condition is true. So, if t is equal to null, what is the case? So, this 15, this node is the, the tree will have only one element, that element is this 15. So, for that, what we have to do? For this node, first, for this element, we have to create a node. t is equal to null. So, what we have to do? First, we have to allow the memory space for this t. So if you could not if you could not able to allocate the memory space, then this message will be displayed that is out of space. So if it is not the case, then what you have to do? So this node is the single node present in the binary search tree. T is pointing. So meaning is the T will have the address of this node. So now our binary search tree will have only one node. So, for the, if there is no element, then, so this is the procedure. So, what we have to do is, first we have to allocate the memory space for the node. And then we have to store the x element in that t of element. Then t of left and t of right will be null. <coughs> then, the second case. So, now, suppose I want to insert 10. x is equal to 10. So what will happen? X is equal to 10. So now it will check T is equal to null. T is not null. So what we have to do? So this is not, not the case. Condition false. So it will come here. Else if 10 less than T of element. T of element is 15. So 10 is lesser than the T of element. What we have to do? We have to traverse the left subtree. So we have written T of left is equal to. So insert of. Insert of. So what is the X? 10. So insert of 10 comma T of left. So T of left is now. T of left is now. T of left is now. So it will invoke this function. So now. So T is null. So what will happen? So we have to create the node for this 10. We have to create node for this 10. Then we have to key store this 10 in this element part. Then T of left is null. Then T of right is null. So this will have the 
address of this word. So like that, so the 10 will be inserted in this case. So now we are going to insert 18. X is equal to 18. So the third case. So we have to check this 18 with this root node. So that is else if x greater than t of ln. Yes, the condition is true because 18 is greater than this 15. So we have to traverse the right side. So t of right is equal to. So we have to check. So what is the x? x is 18. So t of right now it is 9. So if it is 9 means so what we have, we have, to, we have to allocate the new space for the node, we have to allocate the new space for this 80, then we have to store t of element is equal to 80, then t of left and t of right is equal to 9. So like that, the insertion procedure will work in the binary search tree.